Welcome to the day that's three of reading the Bible. Today is the thirty third day. It's a simple. Today is the that's three. And we're reading from Deuteronomy chapter eight to chapter twelve. Without wasting our time, let's get to it. Chapter eight, Deuteronomy. You can carry your Bible and read along with me. Every commandment which I command you today, you must be careful to observe that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers. And you shall remember that the Lord your God led you all the way these forty years in the wilderness to humble you and test you to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandment or not. So he humbled you, allowed you to hunger, and fed you with manna, which you did not know, which you did not know. Nor did your fathers know that he might make you that that he might make you know that man shall not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Your garments did not wear out on you, nor did your foot swell these forty years. You should know in your heart that as a man chastens as a man chastens his son, so the Lord your God chastens you. Therefore you shall keep the commandments of the Lord your God to walk in his way is and to fear him. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and springs that flow out of valleys and, and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and, and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey, a land in which you will eat bread without scarcity, in which you will lack nothing, a land whose stones are iron and, of, and out of whose hills you can dig copper, which you have eaten and are full, then you shall bless the Lord your God. When you have eaten and are full, then you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land which he has given you. Beware that you do not forget the Lord your God by not keeping his commandments, his judgments, and his statutes, which I command you today. Lest when you have eaten and are full, and have built beautiful houses, and dwell in them, and when your earth and your flocks multiply, and your silver and your gold are multiplied, and all that you have is multiplied, then your heart is lifted up, and you forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, who led you through that great and terrible wilderness, in which were fiery serpents and scorpions, and thirsty land, where there, were no, where there was no water, who brought water for you out of the flinty rock, who fed you in the wilderness with manna, which your, which your fathers did not know, that he might humble you, and that he might test you, to do you good in the end. Then you say in your heart, My power and the might of my hand have gained me this wealth. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which is sought to your father, as it is this day. Then it shall be, if you by any means forget the Lord your God, and follow other gods, and serve them, and worship them, I testify against you this day, that you shall surely perish, as the nations which the Lord destroys before you. So you shall perish, because you would not be obedient to the voice of the Lord your God. Hear, O Israel, you are to cross over the Jordan today, and go in to dispossess nations greater and mightier than yourself, cities great and fortified up to heaven, a people great and tall, the descendants of the Anakim, whom you know, and of whom you heard it said, Who can stand before the descendants of Anak? Therefore, understand today that the Lord your God is is he who goes over before you as a consuming fire. He will destroy them and bring them down before you. So you shall drive them out and destroy them quickly, as the Lord has said to you. Do not think in your heart. After the Lord your God has cast them out before you, saying, Because of my righteousness, the Lord has brought me in to possess this land. But it is because of the wickedness of these nations that the Lord is dividing them, that the Lord is driving them out from before you. It is not because of your righteousness, or the uprightness of your heart that you go in to possess their land, but because of the wickedness of these nations that the Lord your God drives them out before you, and that he may fulfill the word which the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Therefore, understand that the Lord your God is not giving you this good land to possess because of your because of your righteousness, for you are a stiff naked people. Remember. Do not forget how you provoked the Lord your God to wrath in the wilderness from the day that you departed from the land of Egypt until you came to this place. 
until you came to this place, you have been rebellious against the Lord. Also in Oreb, you provoked the Lord to wrath, so that the Lord was angry enough with you to have destroyed you. When I went up into the mountain to receive the tablets of stone, the tablets of the covenant which the Lord made with you, then I stayed on the mountain forty days and forty nights. I neither ate bread nor drank water. Then the Lord delivered to me two tablets of stone written with the finger of God, and on them were all the words which the Lord had spoken to you on the mountain from the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And it came to pass at the end of forty days and forty nights that the Lord gave me the two tablets of stone, the tablets of the covenant. Then the Lord said to me, Arise, go down quickly from here, for your people whom you brought out of Egypt have acted corruptly. They have quickly turned aside from the way which I commanded them. They have made themselves else a modern image. Furthermore, the Lord spoke to me, saying, I have seen these people, and indeed they are still naked people. Let me alone, that I may destroy them and blot out their name from under heaven, and I will make of you a nation mightier and greater than they. So I turned and came down from the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire, and the two tablets of the covenant were in my hands. And I looked, and behold, you have sinned against the Lord your God. Had made for yourselves a modded calf. You had turned aside quickly from the way which the Lord had commanded you. Then I took the two tablets and threw them out of my two hands and broke them before your eyes. And I fell down before the Lord as at the first, as at the first forty days and forty nights. I neither ate bread nor drank water. I and I fell down before the Lord as at the first forty days and forty nights. I, either, I neither ate bread nor drank water because of all your sin which you committed in doing wickedly in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and hot displeasure which, with which the Lord was angry with you to destroy you. But the Lord listened to me at that time also, and the Lord was very angry with Aaron and would have destroyed him. So I prayed for Aaron also at the same time. Then I took your sin, the calf which you made, and burned it with fire, and crushed it, and ground it very small, until it was fine as dust. And I threw its dust into the brook that descended from the mountain, also at Tabera and Maza, and Kibroth, and Kibroth Atava. You provoked the Lord to wrath. Likewise, when the Lord sent you from Kadesh Barna, saying, Go up and possess the land which I have given you, then you rebelled against the commandments of the Lord your God, and you did not believe him, nor obey his voice. You have been rebellious against the Lord from the day that I knew you. Thus I prostrated myself before the Lord. Forty days and forty nights, I kept prostrating myself, because the Lord had said he would destroy you. Therefore I prayed to the Lord, and said, O Lord God, do not destroy your people and your inheritance, whom you have redeemed through your greatness, whom you have brought out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Therefore, whom you have brought out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Do not look on the stubbornness of the of these people, or on their wickedness, or their sin. Let the land from let the land from which you brought us should say. Let the land from which you brought us should say, because the Lord was not able to bring them to the land which He promised them, and because He hated them. He, had, he has brought them out to kill them in the wilderness, yet they are your people and your inheritance, whom you brought out by your power and by your outstretched arm. Chapter 10 At that time the Lord said to me, Heal for yourself two tablets of stone like the first, and come up to me on the mountain, and make yourself an ark of wood, and I will write on the tablets the word that were on the first tablets which you broke, and you shall put them in the ark. So I made an ark of acacia wood, yield two tablets of stone like the first, and went up the mountain, having the two tablets in my hand, and he wrote on the tablets according to the first writing, the Ten Commandments, which the Lord has spoken to you in the mountain from the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And the Lord gave them to me. Then I turned and came down from the mountain, and put the tablets in the ark which I have made. And there they are, just as the Lord commanded me. Now the children of Israel journeyed from the wells of Benajakan to Mozera, where Aaron died, and where he was buried. And Eleazar his son ministered as priest in his stead. From there they journeyed to Good to Good Goda, and Good Goda to Jotbata, a river, a land of rivers of water. At that time the Lord separated the tribe of Levi to bear the ark, 
of the covenant of the Lord, to stand before the Lord, to minister to him, and to bless in his name. To this day, therefore, Levi has no portion, no inheritance. It is brilliant. The Lord is his inheritance, just as the Lord your God promised him. As at the first time I stayed in the mountain forty days and forty nights, the Lord also heard me at that time, and the Lord chose not to destroy you. Then the Lord said to me, Arise, begin your journey before the people, that they may go in and possess the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command you today for your good. Indeed, heaven and the highest heavens belong to the Lord your God, also the earth with all that is in it. The Lord, the Lord delighted only in your father to love them, and he chose their descendants after them, you above all peoples, as it is this day. Therefore circumcise the foreskin of your heart, and be stiff and be stiff naked no longer. For the Lord your God is God of gods, and the Lord of lords. For the Lord your God is God of gods, and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome, to sh who shows no partiality, nor takes a bribe. He administers justice for the fatherless and the widow, and loves the stranger, giving him food and clothing. Therefore, love the stranger, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. You shall fear the Lord your God, and shall serve him, and to him you shall hold fast, and take oaths in his name. He is your praise, and he is your God, who has done for you these great and awesome things, which your eyes have seen. Your fathers went down to Egypt with seventy persons, and now the Lord your God has made you as the stars of heaven in multitude. Chapter 11 Therefore you shall love the Lord your God, and keep his charge, his statutes, his judgments, and his commandments always. Know today that I do not speak with your children, who have not known, who have not known and who have not seen the chastening of the Lord your God. Is greatness and his mighty hand and his outstretched arm, his signs and his acts, which he did in the midst of Egypt, to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and to all his land, that what he did to the army of Egypt, to their horses and their chariots, how he made the waters of the Red Sea overflow them as they pursued you, and how the Lord has destroyed them to this day, what he did for you in the wilderness until you came to this place, and what he did and what he did to Dathan and Abraham, the son of Eliab, the son of Reuben, the son of Reuben, how the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up, their households, their tents, and all the substance that was in their possession, in the midst of all Israel. But your eyes have seen every great act of the Lord which he did. Therefore you shall keep every commandment which I command you today, that you may be strong, and go in and possess the land which you cross over to possess, and that you may prolong your days in the land which the Lord swore to, your, to give your fathers, to them and their descendants, a land flowing with milk and honey. For the land which you go to possess is not like the land of Egypt from which you have come, where you sowed, where you sowed your seed and watered it by foot, as a vegetable garden. But the land which you cross over to possess is a land of hills and valleys, which drinks water from the rain of heaven, a land for which the Lord your God cares. The eyes of the Lord your God are always on it, from the beginning of the year to the very end of the year. And it shall be that if you earnestly obey my commandments, which I command you today, to love the Lord your God and serve him with all your heart and with all your soul, then I, then I will give you the rain from, for your land in its season, the early rain and the latter rain, that you may gather in your grain, your new wine and your new oil, and your oil. And I will send grass in your fields for your livestock, that you may eat and be filled. Take it to yourselves, lest your hearts be deceived, and you turn aside and serve other gods and worship them. Lest the Lord's anger be aroused against you, and he shut up the heavens, so that there be no rain. And the land yield no produce, and you perish quickly from the good land which the Lord has given you. Therefore you shall lay up these words of mine in your earth. And in your soul, and bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall teach them to your children, speaking of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, 
when you lie down and when you rise up, and you shall write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates, that your days and the days of your children may be multiplied in the land of which the Lord swore to you, your fathers to give them, like the days of the heavens above the earth. For if you carefully keep all these commandments which I command you to do, to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, and to hold fast to him, then the Lord will drive out all these all these nations from before you, and you will dispossess greater and mightier nations than yourselves. Every place on which the sole of your foot treads shall be yours, from the wilderness and Lebanon, from the river, the river Euphrates, even to the water, even to the western sea shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand against you. The Lord your God will put the dread of you and the fear of you upon the land where you tread, just as he has just as he has said to you, Behold, I set before you today a blessing and a curse. The blessing, if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today. And the curse, if you do not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but turn aside from the way which I command you today, to go after other gods which you have not known. Now it shall be, when the Lord your God has brought you into the land which you go to possess, that you shall put the blessing on Mount Gerizim, on the course on Mount Eber, and are they not on the other side of the Jordan, toward the setting sun, in the land of the Canaanites, who dwell in the plain opposite Gilgal, beside the terebinth tree of Mori, for you will for you will cross over the Jordan and go in to possess the land which the Lord your God has given you, and you shall possess it and dwell in it, and you shall be careful to observe all the statutes and judgments which I set before you today. Chapter 12, the last chapter. These are the statutes and judgments which you shall be careful to observe in the land which the Lord which the Lord God of your fathers is giving you to possess. All the days that you live on the earth, you shall utterly destroy all the places where the nations which you shall dispossess served their gods, on the high mountains and on the hills and under every green tree, and you shall destroy their altars break their sacred pillars, and burn their wooden images with fire. You shall cut down the carved images of their gods, and destroy their names from, the, from that place. You shall not worship the Lord your God with such things, but you shall seek the place where the Lord your God chooses, out of all your tribes, to put his name for his dwelling place. And there you shall go. There you shall take your burnt offerings, your sacrifices, your tithes, the eve offering of your hand, your vowed offering, your free will offering and the firstborn of your earth and flocks, and there you shall eat before the Lord your God, and you shall rejoice in all to which you have put your hand, you and your households, in which the Lord your God has blessed you. You shall not at all do as we are doing here today, every man doing whatever is right in his own eyes. For as yet you have not come to the, with the rest and the inheritance which the Lord your God has given you. But when you cross over the Jordan and dwell in the land which the Lord your God has given you to inherit, and he gives you rest from all your enemies round about, so that you dwell in safety, then there will be the place where the Lord your God chooses to make his name abide. There you shall bring all that I command you, your bonds offering, your sacrifices, your tithes, your, the eve offering of your hand, and all your choice offerings which you vow to the Lord. And you shall rejoice before the Lord your God, you and your sons and your daughters, your male and female servants, and the Levites who is with you, who is within your gate, since he has no portion nor inheritance with you. Take it to yourself that you do not offer your burnt offerings in every place that you see, but in the place which the Lord chooses, in one of your tribes, where you shall offer, there you shall offer your burnt offerings, and there you shall do all that I command you. However, you may slaughter and eat meat within you, all your gates, whatever your heart desires, according to the blessing of the Lord your God, which he has given you. The unclean and the clean may eat of it, of the gazelle and the deer alike. Only you shall not only you shall not eat the blood. You shall pour it on the earth like water. You may not eat within your gates the tithes of your grain, or your new wine, or your oil, of the first of the firstborn of your earth, or your flock, of any of your offerings which you vow. Of your free will offerings or of the eve offering of your hand but you must eat them before the lord your god in the place which the lord your god chooses you and your son and your daughter you your male servant and your female servant 
and the Levites who is within your gates, and you shall rejoice before the Lord your God in all to which you put your hands. Take it to yourself that you do not forsake the Levites as long as you live in your land. When the Lord your God enlarges your border and he has pro as he has promised you, and you say, Let me eat meat, because you long to eat meat, you may eat as much meat as your heart desires. If the place where the Lord your God chooses to put his name is too far from you, then you may slaughter from your earth and from your flock which the Lord has given you, just as I have commanded you. And you may eat within your gates as much as your earth desires, just as the gazelle and the deer are eaten. So you may eat them. The unclean and the clean alike may eat them. Only be sure that you do not eat the blood, for the blood is the life. You may not eat the life with the meat. You shall not eat it. You shall pour it on the earth like water. You shall not eat it, that it may go well with you and your children after you. When you do what is right in the sight of the Lord, only the holy sins which you have and your vowed offerings you shall take and go to the place which the Lord chooses and you shall offer your burnt offerings, the meat and the blood on the altar of the, of the Lord your God. And the blood of the sacrifices shall be poured out on the altar of the Lord your God, and you shall eat the meat. Observe and obey all these words which I command you, that it may go well with you and your children after you forever. When you do what is good and right in the sight of the Lord your God, when the Lord your God cuts off from before you the nations which you, which you go to dispossess, and you displace them and dwell in their land, take it to yourself that you are not ensnared to follow them after they are destroyed from before you, and that you do not inquire after their gods, saying, How did this nation serve their gods? I also will do likewise. You shall not worship the Lord your God in that way, for every abomination to the Lord which he ate, they have done to their gods. For they burn even their sons and daughters in the fire to their gods. Whatever I command you, be careful to observe it. You shall not add to it, nor take away from it. The end of today's reading and yeah in today's reading we see the lord laying out the things he will do for the children of israel he will enlarge their land he will give them all the land they trade on he will give them a land flowing with milk and honey and everything only and if only they obey his commandments so obeying his commandments leads to all the good all the good things that he wants to give to them. But if they don't obey the commandments, they'll be destroyed. They'll be destroyed. And today, I've learned something. I have actually learned something. That if you obey the commandments of the Lord, you get your reward for it. You will always get your reward for it. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. I'll try to upload every of this video today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.